S. Fam, and I'm back with another video. Okay, what I really wanted to do was a video on. I guess this will be a spoiler because I can't really talk about the movie without really getting into it. So, um, you know, a lot of us, of course, we're home, quarantine and shit like that. So it's like we're getting to watch more TV, most of us. I can't speak for all of us, but I know a lot of us are watching more TV or whatever we can do to keep ourselves entertained on top of our natural responsibilities and schedules being all over the place. So I really want to talk about a movie that touched my heart my soul it's called from netflix a miracle in cell number seven okay so this is a spoiler alert so if you do not want to find out about the movie then i guess watch the movie first and then come back and watch my video so we can chat together but if you're a person that doesn't mind hearing about the movie first and then still watching it then watch my video first you get it that is the auteur of events. Anyway, okay, so A Miracle in Cell Number 7 completely touched my heart. Now, the movie, um, full disclosure, the movie is in another language. I don't know what language it is, so please don't ask me. I'm not a language expert, nor did I even check to find out. I didn't even care because the movie was so good. They have the subtitles on the below, below surface of the screen, which is in English have the um subtitles on the below surface of the screen in english so um of course if you're watching it and you're reading it and it's so good if you really get into it that you won't care that it's in another language it's about this guy and this guy he has special needs um i don't know what his condition is i'm assuming that he's either probably autistic or something like that they never specified it but anyway so he's special needs so his mind is like of a child but his daughter is you know regular she doesn't have any like learning conditions or anything like that so she kind of is is his strength throughout the movie which touched me automatically you know what i'm saying because my daughter is special needs you know what i'm saying and i am her strength and she is also mine you know what i mean um but um yeah the daughter is completely his strength because it's the daughter, it's the father, and the grandmother. They're all together. That's like the family that they have. Um, so, um, the thing is, is that the father, you know, he knows he's a dad. He knows that much of it, but his, his mind is like a child. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, you know, he knows things, but not to the perception of where he really should know them. So, his daughter is very protective over him, and the daughter asks the grandmother, like, oh, why... Is, is daddy is daddy my age or you know she notices like in the grandma explains like you know that's your dad he's your dad but he has a mind like a child she basically tells him or whatever so as the movie continued the father just basically had this great bond with his daughter like the daughter loved him no matter what and um the grandmother which was the father's mother and they were all just you know living together then one day there was some confusion he was accused of a crime that he did not commit that he did not commit or whatever and um and it was completely heartbreaking because he couldn't express himself people just kept calling him crazy when he had a disability you know so that broke my heart and um he really did not commit the crime it was a a crime a murder he was accused of um yeah so he ended up doing the time and this throughout the whole movie they literally was trying to get this man out of jail to the point when he first got to the jail and they heard what he was accused of they beat the shit out of him you understand so technically they were beating up an innocent man they heard what he did and the other cellmates beat the shit out of him and the cellmates just kept looking like and starting to see his innocence like this guy would communicate with nature he would freaking talk to goddamn butterflies hold incense and let them go he was very gentle you know what i'm saying so sometimes you cannot judge a book by its cover or you cannot judge a person off a hearsay that's the first lesson that the movie teach which is amazing and of course the other lesson is to not judge people that are special needs you get what i'm saying like you have to get to know someone you have to like really be in the forefront with someone before you can specifically judge someone you do not know especially if you were not there so i love the fact that the movie teaches those two lessons and it also teaches the lesson of unity and how important family is because that 
that dad and that daughter and the grandmother may have not had it all, but they had each other, and that's all they cared about. They were very, very humble, you know what I'm saying? The guy, the, the father that was special needs, he really had this joy about him that just made me cry throughout the movie, because I'm a big baby. Made me cry throughout the movie or whatever, but, you know... It was just amazing because he got beat up in jail. Nobody was believing what he said. It turned out that the head person, and, like of the police in that country, ended up being the ended up being the person who family member was killed by him. But mind you, he didn't do it. Okay, so you know they was really sticking it to him because that guy thought that the special needs guy killed his family, which he didn't. You understand? So anyway, throughout the movie, there was this one thing before they took him off to jail. He was screaming out to his daughter because they called this guy that would be by the like the the cave, the mountains, some type of shit, and he would be like peeking out at everybody. They call him the one-eyed monster. You know that was the way that the daughter communicated with the father every time they saw him. Like he sees everything, so he's the one witness that saw that the guy did not commit this murder. So the little girl was so sweet and adorable. She literally was trucking around on her way, looking like I'm gonna find this witness, so you could tell that my dad didn't do it. All throughout the movie, she was looking for the witness. Okay, now let's get back to the inmates that hated him. His aura inside was so special. He was such a light that nobody could dim him. Like, he knew he didn't do it. He knew his heart. He knew his character. Even though these men literally beat the shit out of him when he first got to jail, they could not help but just look more into him and be like, yo, this guy don't seem like he would do this. They looked more into the situation. They, like, noticed him, watched him for a long time, and really saw he wasn't that person that they were, he was that, they were accusing him of being. And to the point where his enemies became his friends. That inside of him, that aura, it shines so bright that nobody couldn't deny that shit after a while. To the point where those same inmates that once beat him up to the ground. Mind you, even after they beat him up, this guy was so happy. He was hugging them and giving them a kiss on the cheek, like... He was just happy about life. Like, nobody couldn't dim that light in him. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody could not dim that light in him at all. Like, you understand? So he was friends with them in his mind before they was even friends with him. He ain't give a shit. Like, this guy was happy. The only thing that made him sad was, of course, being in jail and being away from his daughter and his mom, which was the, the two people he had in his life. You get what I'm saying? And technically, they were the ones that looked after him because he is not mentally... A adult in his mind so he was very scared you know what I'm saying but I admire this movie of how it showed family unity don't judge a book by its cover don't judge special needs kids it just shows you how much your child can be your own strength even though they're younger than you so I really love that um of course the grandmother being in it that made me boo hoo hoo because I mean if you know me you know how I feel about my grandmother rest in peace um but yeah that movie really touched me what else were some key elements of the movie? So they just fought for his freedom the whole movie. And, to the, and I told you, like I told you, the prisoners that once also thought he was guilty of it started fighting for him because they knew after a while he didn't do it. You see what I'm saying? So the message I got for that movie is just be true to yourself and who you are and um, what you stand for. And that shit is going to shine bright through anything. Like nobody can sit there and literally tell you that you are not who you are. Nobody can do that. Especially if you know in your heart and mind that you mean people well and you're just living your life and you literally are being judged. You literally are being judged by someone that does not know the truth and they really just standing on that fern. You can't control what people think, but you can control how you feel and how you honor yourself. And nothing can dull that light. So I really appreciate that movie for that message. Like I said, it's a language barrier because they're not speaking English. Read the subtitles honestly and watch the movie because you just will not regret it it's a such a heartfelt movie and i just gave away so much of the tea that's why i said this is a spoiler but i did not give away everything okay so like i said they um fought hard for him throughout the whole movie it was so much unity family it was so much up and down climaxes of the movie you get what I'm saying? Like, you would see those special moments, but then you would see those moments where you're filled up with tears. You would see the up and down of his journey and how hard his daughter fought for him, even though she was so little. Like, I think the little girl was, like, only six years old. But that was the only parent she had because the mom, you know, uh, passed away from what they said in the movie. So, um, 
The name of the movie is called A Miracle in Cell Number 7. Okay? Please check it out. And if you do check it out, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think if you do decide to check it out. It's on Netflix, A Miracle in Cell Number 7. Um, I think you won't regret it, especially at a time like this when we're supposed to be really noticing what's going on in the world and remembering to be humble, to be grateful, give all the praises to God, to the to our family, to our loved ones that show us love constantly. If you wasn't really doing that, this is a wake-up call, but this is a wake-up call for all of us, even the ones that was the most grateful. We can always be better. We don't have to be perfect, but we can always do better. So love the ones around you. I think the movie has a beautiful message, and I really had to get on here and talk about it because I absolutely love that movie. As soon as I saw it I said it's one of my favorites on my list point blank and the period okay like I love the movie so I hope that y'all check it out and um maybe I could leave like a uh if I find like a preview to the movie um uh, I will leave the link below yeah if I could find like the preview link or whatever so you can check out the preview of the movie I'll leave the link below so you can check that out but um thank y'all so much for watching Add me on TikTok. The reason. I had a reason. Huh? What, what, a was reason. reason? A reason. what was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't really need to explain myself to you. Add me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Um, check out my book, 12 Days of Poetry on Amazon. That's something really good to read. Especially at a time like this, we could really get into some reading and stuff like that. I know y'all got a lot going on, but I appreciate anybody who checks out my book. The free preview, preview is there, Amazon Kindle. Download the Amazon Kindle app, or if you have an Amazon Kindle, either way, you don't have to have an Amazon Kindle. You can download the Amazon Kindle app. It will still let you preview the book for free. And even if y'all do not buy it, if you preview it for free and let me know what you think of the few pages you read, I would really appreciate it. I'm not a professional at anything, you understand what I'm saying? But I am building my business from the ground, so you got to respect the grind. I devoted building my business from the ground all the way in the beginning of 219, and I'm still going strong. So just wish me the best of luck because, you know, once I have more opportunities for me, I'll be able to help more people out there and um, whose stories was like mine or just more people in general that I just would love to see smile to help them out. Like, the more advantages I get, that's what I'm going to do with them. So, um... Anyway, add me on all of those things. All of the links are below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Y'all like my little one little... I thought that was cute. It is cute. Okay, but anyway, I'll be back. <laughs> again and again. Hopefully. Well, I shouldn't say hopefully. I will be back with another video. Bye. <laughs>